Hi there, Tracy Reed here today, and I'm going to show you how to print and cut digital embellishments using your Silhouette machine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide which digital elements we want to cut in our Silhouette program. Um, this is Mom's Gonna Snap by myself and JD Day Studio, available at Sweet Shop Designs. And I'm going to pull in a few of the embellishments here from that kit that I want to print and cut on my Silhouette. Now, printing and cutting on the Silhouette is a little bit different than just making a cut sheet like I did in my previous video because you can't utilize the entire sheet of paper. So I'm going to put these on the canvas and I'm going to then align them so that they are um, in a straight line horizontally and vertically. And then I'm going to resize them so that they fit in the uppermost portion of the printable area of my sheet. Now the printable area of my sheet is defined as the white space without the cross hatching over it because anything um, above where the white space ends is not going to be cut and printed very well. So you want to stay in the white sheet of the paper. Now I'm going to open the journaling cards that come with the kit and um, when you drag and drop journaling cards or anything into the Silhouette machine, it um, resizes them a little bit larger than the actual files are. So I'm resizing these back down to 3x4 so that um, they are true to size. And I'm going to rotate this one and um, move it over a little bit so that I can maximize the amount of print and cut area I have on my silhouette. So I have one more journaling card that I'm going to open here and I'm going to rotate it and resize it so that it fits on my canvas. Now I realize I try to rotate it and I realize that it's not going to fit. So I rotate it back the way that it was and make it fit vertically on the sheet instead. Now a problem that you run into when you're um, using the print and cut on your silhouette is that you can't fit as much on as you would be able to if you were using Photoshop. So it's the trade-off that you get um, from having it cut out for you automatically versus cutting it out by hand. You can't fit as much on, but you don't have to do the cutting, so you save yourself a lot of time that way. So I'm going to keep adding embellishments here till, they f um, till I don't have any room to add embellishments anymore because I want to fit as many on the paper as I can. So we're getting close here. I'm all, I just have this little space down here at the bottom, so I'm going to cut out some cameras as well as the journaling cards and little word arts just because they're so cute. I want them to resize it so that it fits. And now I am ready to start um, making my cut lines. Now, in order to do this, you have to open up your um, create or trace outlines panel. And then you want to select the trace area and drag all the way around your embellishments. And then turn off the high pass filter and raise the threshold all the way up to 100 so that everything turns yellow. And then you hit trace and you have cut lines around your entire sheet of embellishments. Now you want to send it to the printer and this will print it out with registration marks that the silhouette can read to uh, make sure that it cuts out your embellishments the, um, in the right place. So make sure that you choose the appropriate settings for your printer. I'm going to go in here and choose um, my full page cardstock setting. And then once I have it ready to go, it prints out with registration marks and I load it into my silhouette like this. I have to use tape because my silhouette mat is no longer sticky. 
And now, once it's printed, you can send it to the silhouette <clears throat> and it will ask you if you have printed already. And I already have, so I skip printing. And then um, it has instructions right here that you want to make sure you pay attention to, otherwise it won't cut out right. And I've had that happen way too many times to count, so make sure you pay attention. And then you click through and you are uh, wanting to choose detect, auto, um, detect registration marks automatically. And now it's running through my silhouette and the silhouette is picking up the registration marks so that it knows where to cut. Once that is finished, it lets you know and you're ready to cut. Make sure that your paper settings are um, on the right blade for what you chose. I choose cardstock for the premium matte presentation paper because that is what works for me. And now it is going through its process of cutting and here is the image of the cut file. So you can see it cut around the circles perfectly. I hope that helps and I hope that it opens up your scrapbooking supply selection to a much broader range now that you know that you can use digital embellishments really quickly and easily on your silhouette machine. Thank you!